Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to the channel of Chilled Relax Plan Content where we talk about our plans and we just try to grow them how we want to grow them the best we can. If that's something you can relate to or you just want to hang out and do some planty stuff, hit the subscribe button. Let's be plant friends. So on my mission to try to condense my plants, I am now going to attempt to combine my two pink princesses and my two painted ladies, both philodendrons. And in doing that, I will free up two pots that are like this. This is a green one, and then the other one's a blue one. So we have some challenges. Uh, one of the challenges, I am very low on soil, but I think it'll all work out because there's like soil in this pot, soil in that pot. I have a little bit of soil. We'll just have to like reuse soil. Um, but yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. This is the newest leaf on this one. It's very dark burgundy, really pretty. But let's first do the Painted Lady. Before I do that, I just wanna say that I got the smaller pots as little cuttings from Albert from Breaking Borke. Um, Those have grown like the best out of like the other larger ones. But um, yeah, so Albert. Thank you. They're doing wonderful and they are going to be bigger and better in a bigger pot with more of their friends. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. <laughs> All right, so real quick, another little side, side quest is this leaf right here. I don't know if you can see it is a little stuck. So I just released it and then I let the plant, for the most part, figure itself out. Okay. We'll do the Painted Lady first and then the Pink Princess because I think the Painted Lady is going to be harder and let's just rip the Band-Aid off. Okay? Okay. Let me get you in nice and close so you can see what we're doing. Better? Kind of? You can see, I hope, right? Yeah. All right. Let us move these. This one can go down here, and this one can go over here. And then we have my little scoop. We have the big plant right here, which is very tall. And then we have the smaller pot right here. So we're gonna attempt to combine them. I don't know really what I'm doing, but... I'm going to pull up my, this is how much soil I have left. Like it's nothing. It's really not a lot, but I think it'll be enough for these two plants and we'll figure it out. All right. So first I think I'm going to dump out the soil in the larger pot to kind of assess how much room we have. Okay. Okay. It's not horrible. It's not root bound. Um, you should be able to like make room, I think. I'm just gonna like dig away at one side a little bit. Just enough so that we can squeeze that other point in without really messing around with the roots too much because I don't really want to mess up this whole big old plant. Let's see. All right, we'll just see what that looks like. And now let's look at the smaller pot. Which oh, is definitely a little bit more rubenum. Oh, ooh. all right, here we go. Okay. Okay, not as rubenum as I thought. But she definitely has like healthier roots. I'll give you that. Her roots are definitely a lot healthier than the other plants, which is, uh, you know, it just is what it is, right? All right, so I think we're gonna just add some soil or my scoop go to the bottom of this. I'm just gonna... Is 
that look like? That looks okay, I think. And then we're just gonna squeeze in these roots over here. Try to get it in a situation that looks good and fits good. Okay, I think we got it. Now just backfilling. All the soil. Which we should have a little bit of excess soil if you, you know, if you think about it. We, we're going from two pots of soil to like one pot of soil, but you never know. Uh, this pot was a little low. I didn't fill it up all the way, I guess, when I potted up the larger plant, so we might have like just enough soil. Uh, we're just gonna try. Alright, are you guys trying to condense your plant collection? Are you guys still just combining or are you guys just accumulating more plants? What plants are you interested in? Have there been plants that you guys are over and you're kind of like getting rid of because you're now onto like another plant genus you're interested in collecting or buying? I'm just gonna rip this leaf off. I don't know, throw it on the floor, I'll sweep later. But I definitely, I still really love, I think all the plants I have, I really, really like. There's like, still like five or six plants that are kind of like, I don't know what those plants are doing. <laughs> they don't look great. Um, most of them are like my lipstick plant varieties. Some of them look great. Like the Black Pagoda looks great. The Variegated Lipstick Plant looks great. The Mona Lisa wants to look good. But then the Twisted one and the Lipstick Chrysalis, they just look like crap. But I think we're going to see what, how they grow this coming up um, sep, uh, spring. I was going to say September. This upcoming September, spring. <laughs> and then make a decision on that. Okay, so this is what she looks like right now. I might rip off this leaf because it's kind of like just in the way. I have to find my scissors. There they are. Yeah, we're just gonna get rid of this leaf. It was starting to go. Anyway, it's one of the older leaves. And it just makes the plant look better. Sorry, I keep forgetting. I angled it. But this is the newer, the smaller plant. And then up here is like my bigger plant. All together, I don't know if I can get it in the frame. Let me zoom you out. All together, this is what she looks like. I think that looks good. All right, let me put her back and get the princesses ready. BRB. All right, I'm back. I think we're at a good angle. So this is the cutting I got from Breaking Board K. And then this is my, I think my Walmart find. Um, yeah, I think it's doing okay. It does look like these lower stems are trying I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. To push out little new growth points, kind of like you see like the red. So the plant might start bushing itself out, which is exciting. All right, and the same thing, we're just gonna pull her out. Try to figure out where's a good spot to try to make room. I'm gonna pick right here without really messing up the root system. I'm just trying to make room when I shove it back in the pot. This plant definitely has more root boundage than the last one, but I think that's okay. I'll throw some of this stuff back in the bottom. Really dry dirt. So these plants and probably all of my plants are ready to be repotted. All right, so we're gonna do that. All right, and then we're gonna pull out this pot. Okay. Okay. There we 
is something on these roots. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's the inside of the pot. It was like sticking to the inside of the pot. Maybe this is like the glaze to the pot. Maybe something. I don't know. I don't want to know. Don't question it too much, Kelly. <laughs> if it's some type of bug, I don't need to know. <laughs> All right. So these are what the roots look like on this guy. Pretty good. I'm going to shove them in here with their stick. And then back to go. There. I feel like the hype of the pink princess has definitely died back. And um, it's not obviously because, you know, Walmart is now being able to sell it for like 20 bucks. But I still like the pink princess. I know a lot of people like don't like it, but I like it. I think it looks cute, you know. Not every leaf has pink, but like, that's okay. Not every leaf has to have pink, you know? I really like the dark foliage too. So, I don't know, see each its own. Let me know in the comments below. Are you guys interested or into the pink princess? Do you guys still have the pink princess? I think a lot of people like kinda got rid of theirs. And uh, yeah, let me know if you guys still have it. Have you gotten rid of it? If you have not gotten rid of it, I would love to see pictures of yours because I'm assuming yours look beautiful with a bunch of pink. Go to my Instagram, DM me, I'll find you, and then I can like scroll through your Instagram and look at all your pretty pic pictures of your plants. Or if you have gotten rid of your pink princess, let me know in the comments below why. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Does this look beautiful? No. <laughs> but it is holding itself up, kinda. I do have to like, let the plant like adjust, water it, let that settle in and, and stuff. But let me zoom me out. And this is what she looks like now. Definitely a lot fuller. You know, as long as we don't look at the back, you can see how bare she was, but this will be the new front of the plant. And she looks really good. I love it. I love it. All right, guys. So that's going to be it for this video. I think I have officially put up all of my non-Hoya uh, propagations and all of my duplicates. So every pot should have, well, maybe not. Like my pothos, we, we're not going to, they're all like behind you. We're not going to count those because I, I just... They are what they are, but all of my other plants, for the most part, climbing philodendrons and, and begonias and all of that are like in their own pot and doing well. Um, yeah, and now I have two new pots that I can do something with. I could put a plant in. They are like the small four inch pots, but that's all right. I'm, I, like I said before, I am kind of like big into succulents and uh, I can show you one right here. Maybe if my hand will grab it. I kind of really think like a little pot like this with a bunch of little succulents in it is like the cutest thing ever. And uh, we could definitely do that with this. So I'll probably wait till spring, see what kind of succulents they have at the Home Depot or Lowe's. And uh, yeah. Alrighty guys, until next time, relax, plant, peace out.